Hello everyone and thank you so much for joining my channel. This is Rocky and today is Fable Friday. It's my favorite day of the week and Fable Friday is when I sort of close the loop on things that I've shown you before, tell you a little story, hence the reason I use the word Fable and because it shows on Friday. <laughs> so let's get right in to it. So I always have my trusty little list of things that I want to talk to you about. And the first thing I'm going to start with is um, a follow-up review on a product that I chose. Well, a line of products that I chose for my Instagram timeline. It was a company called Blanket PS, Pancakes and Syrup. Bla Blanket Pancakes and Syrup. And it's a small um, black-owned company. And um, you're, you're probably going to trip when you see how much of it is left. And I've only, you know, the family has only used this once. But we made um, pancakes with the um, mix that they have here. Each serving makes about uh, six to seven pancakes. This one is the buttermilk. I don't know if you can see that really well. The buttermilk pancakes. And it's in a Ziploc because we've opened it already. And then I bought um, a couple of uh, syrups here that are flavored. One is a cinnamon. I'll probably just have to do a cutaway. And this one is a vanilla. And because this thing hates me and doesn't want to focus. But the reason why I wanted to take the time today and go back and talk about this is that there is a markedly different taste to these products than what you would buy like off your regular store shelves. Um, you can taste this. This is like, you know, sort of restaurant quality. And one. Oh, how would I say? Um, I love the taste of homemade pancakes. And this tastes like somebody's, um, you know, homemade recipe that they've packaged and um, been able to, you know, redo for you in, in mass, right? So you don't have to come up with the recipe on your own at home. So I like that home cooked flavor and feel of uh, pancakes. So this one captures that just right. And normally when I make my own from scratch at home, I do put a touch of cinnamon in it for a little bit of oomph. But since I had this cinnamon syrup, I didn't do that this time around. And this one definitely made up for me not putting any cinnamon in that. You can taste the cinnamon flavor in the syrup and you can taste the more vanilla-y, home-baked kind of a flavor in the vanilla one. So I would recommend this. If, if you're not down for making your own mix from scratch uh, for your home kind of flavor and feel, definitely do this and if you're into flavored syrups if you don't just if it's maple or go home for you um this is not for you but if you like a little bit of umph a little bit of flavor to your to your syrups that's if you even eat syrup this is really good as well i enjoyed it and i am not a cook um a breakfast cooker my, my husband is typically the breakfast cooker around here so um i am eagerly awaiting for the next breakfast session that he's willing to cook because he doesn't cook very often but i will definitely be looking forward to my blanket p and s products for my next breakfast the next thing i want to talk about is well i don't have too much to say about this but um i mentioned to you in my random haul not too long ago that i got these um louis vuitton boots or louis vuitton dupe boots so they're a replica of the real deal and i got these from dh gate there are a lot of things that you get from dh gate it reminds me of a Alibaba slash eBay. If Ali, if Alibaba and eBay had a baby, maybe that this this you'd get DH Gate. Anyway, that being said, um, I took some more time to look more closely at these for differences. And aside from the ones that I mentioned to you before, remember I told you that um, this is not coated canvas. It is like a PU leather. And this strap around the ankle is not uh, cow's leather. It is a faux leather around the ankle. Those, I think, were the only two call-outs that I had upon first reviewing these um, boots. There are three other um, major differences that, to the naked eye, you wouldn't be able to tell. You'd have to, like, look side by side by the real thing in these and, like, have to be still looking at them. Like, me walking around and wearing them in public, it would be hard to tell. But... The one difference is that the toe box, the black leather here on the toe box, goes back a little bit deeper than on a real deal. The real deal is probably half an inch to an inch closer to the toe. So it's shorter. The toe box leather is shorter. So that's one. Two, the alignment of the logos are slightly different from the real deal. Like here, here, and here, there's a slight different alignment with the... Um, 
with the logos on the boot, which again, like I said, naked eye, you really wouldn't be able to tell. The other thing here is on the back, there's a little line, a stitch line here in the middle of the back of the boot. On the real boot, it's all one piece and smooth. So they've used one, uh, one uh, uninterrupted piece of leather for the back. And then the very, very last difference is here in the middle. Um, here in the middle, you, you see the logos that go up underneath the um, laces. They're the same size as the ones that are printed all over the boot. On the real deal, they are they have miniature sized logos these same logos but they're miniature size going up the middle of the boot so those are the things that i noticed about the differences in the two boots and again you have to really really be like staring at them and being still and paying attention to look for these differences but just walking down the street you wouldn't know the differences i have yet to wear these these are still brand new so hence the reason why i'm touching the bottom of them like i have a problem um, but i have not worn these out in public i really wanted to wear them to my trip um, i took a trip to um to south carolina one i really wanted to take um uh wear these because it really matched my outfit i had on a, a brown crop sweatshirt black uh leggings and you know brown sweater i just thought that this would have matched perfectly however i just felt like traveling was not the right time to be trying out a dupe in you know in public and out of state away from home because if the sole fell off on me or if the you know something around here broke or whatever and i was you know traveling i, I would have been upset and it would have made my life a living you know what trying to travel in some boots that were all messed up. So I will have to try them at my leisure when I have nothing important happening. Then I can report back to you on the actual quality of the wear and the wear experience, how comfortable they are. But for now, I just want to follow back up to let you know that I did find a few more differences. Having, you know, I sat there for like an hour, like trying to like really examine everything about it. And those were the differences. And again, not anything that you could readily see with the naked, naked eye. You'd have to be touching it or like really close and see seeing it and again but still I think a really great investment 60 bucks versus um, $1,500 I'd do that all day the next thing I want to mention is um, I, I keep talking about this every week I talk about sips by I feel like <laughs> because um, I'm so loving this experience again I told you guys that I got this as a gift it was a subscription for three months of you know different samplings based on uh, a survey that I took and I told them all about the teas that I like so they send things based on that profile and they've been doing a really good job of sending me things that I like um, I told you last um, I think it was it last time we spoke or I forget when it was that there was one there was a black honey scented tea that I really really liked which prompted me to want to order more but I did I, I stopped short of ordering it right away because I hadn't tasted all the other um, things that had come in my sips box um, my sips buy box for that month so I waited until I tasted all of them and then there so there was another one that I really liked which was a lady Earl Grey I think it was called or a lady no lady empress gray i think that's what it was called and um i took it with me on my trip to uh, south carolina and uh it was so so good it was unexpectedly delicious and let me tell you about it so it's um an earl gray tea but it also has like a hint of orange blossom or orange peel or something in it the combination of the two plus adding milk to it making it a latte tasted like you it's gonna sound like a really weird combination but it see it tasted like somebody made a tea out of the cereal milk that you have left after eating fruity pebbles <laughs> it sounds weird i know it does but it was so 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 good i drank all of it um over the course of i want to say four or five days i drank all of it yes i did and it was so delicious it's hard for me to describe and i really if you're a black tea drinker i would really recommend that you try it but it was so good so i did place an order for full size amounts of both the um the honey black tea and this um lady empress tea that i earl gray tea um that i have it is so good so i have one more month left and in that month, I guess I'll decide if I want to extend this or not. I feel like I want to because the discovery um, experience has been so fun and just surprising and fulfilling. All of the things that you would want from something like this. And the price is right. So definitely um, thinking about extending it for another, you know, I don't know, three, six, nine months. I don't know. But again, if you have it, if you're a tea drinker and you haven't tried Sips by yet, try it.
The next thing I want to um, kind of call out is the fact that you may notice that I have not done any shop shopping lately um one main reason shopping in person i was i was due to go back to zara um you remember they had the zara sale and i said i would go back and see what else they had left like what the final pickings were um i have not been able to go back out because there has been like this nationwide rash of carjackings going on um it, all the big cities are the hotbeds for this type of activity it turns out it's like some sort of national racket they're all interconnected in some sort of way plus you have some copycats who are just going out there enjoy riding having a good time so it's not making it a very comfortable environment for me well at least for me i don't feel comfortable or safe going out knowing that they're preying on women and people who feel who they feel like really won't be able to defend themselves so me being a a, a smaller framed woman i'm just like let me just stay my butt in the house so i have not been going out in light of the fact that you know carjackings are prevalent at the moment and then as far as ordering online i uh I don't get as much inspiration shopping online as I do when I'm in store, when I can have that, the sensory experience that goes with shopping in person with the, the feel, you know, seeing it with your eyes in person and being able to try things on. It's a different, you know, it's a different experience to me. So I'm not all about the shopping online life. Most some people live by it because they can't stand stores. They can't stand the people, the hustle, the bustle, standing in lines, whatever. I get it. But I prefer, I think I make better choices when I'm shopping in person and, uh, you know, things like that. And it's just a whole experience for me. So I haven't been shopping as much online. I do have a particular wish list that I'm looking through, which I already pretty much know, like, what those things are like and what, you know. Anyway, I think those things I may be ordering online as the year kind of progresses. But the shopping in store... Even though it breaks my heart, my heart is broken. I'm longing to be out in this world like you guys. I'm just longing to just be out there. Um, I'm just pressing the pause button on it for, you know, just, just common sense. You know, just to be safe and just using my own common sense. So that's it. And you notice that I haven't shopped very much. And the last thing I want to mention is a very big, big thank you to the ladies who suggested the Facebook group Black Girls in Trader Joe's. I talked to you guys about being just just over the moon about these coconut cashews from Trader Joe's and they're like you should try this group black girls and Trader Joe's and they have a group on Facebook and I did best thing I've ever done these girls are so fun and just so whimsical it's just a nice escape from the day just to kind of watch these women have a good time about literally about Trader Joe's stuff and just have this this, this, this beautiful relationship with the with a group of strangers it's just amazing and how they've come together on this one common thing Trader Joe's I don't love Trader Joe's that much I'll be honest with you but that the dynamic of that group makes me want to stay in there and I've learned a few things about products how to cook things and whatever have you and I've made a long laundry list of things that I want to get from Trader Joe's the second I get out of here <laughs> the second I get out of jail I'm gonna be buying more things but uh, if you have not heard of this group or tried this group and you feel comfortable joining a group that's all about Trader Joe's in a way join go ahead and jump right in it's so much fun black girls in Trader Joe's on Facebook join that group It's so much fun and thank you ladies for telling me about it so that brings us to the end. Those are the Fable Friday updates for today. Let me know if there's anything that I've mentioned before in the past that you'd like me to come back to. Um, I feel like there's something that you asked me for and I forgot and I just haven't gotten back to it. Um, just let me know. <laughs> Let me know. I am going to be talking about real estate. I know you guys asked me about that. I will be talking about real estate in a couple Fable Fridays to come. Um, let me know if there's anything just in particular that you're interested in you want me to talk about on a Fable Friday. Hit me down in the comments down below. Subscribe if you haven't already. Share it with your friends. Of course, hit that like button. Bye.